service and again invite you to be sworn in uh, at the end of the meeting. Article 4. Uh, will anyone move to open debate on Article 4? Yes, Mr. Irving? I would move to open debate on Article 4. Is there a second? Ms. St. Hilaire? Um, and I recognize uh, select uh, uh, board uh, chair uh, Suzanne Cooper. The articles you're referencing are not matching what is being displayed. I'm one off? Article 4 was that off. Okay, so we're on Article 5, Purchase a Fire Engine. I apologize. Good. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm sorry about the projection capabilities today. We normally have the smart board, which projects really a lot better. So, uh, but it's not available to us today, so we have this little fuzzy thing, which, especially for the small boards, small print. So I'd like to say a, a few general words about the bond warrants and then a, some specific words about uh, the fire energy. So one of the things that uh, the bond warrants will do for us is allow us to, re to work and commit to several items over here of high urgency or close to high urgency and uh, in such a way that they are not emergencies yet and that with the funding and the bonding or other financing available to us will allow us to spread those commitments across a predetermined period of time and so that those costs on an annual basis will be known to us. If you look at the 10-year projections, they're, they're in a couple of flavors. They're in green on the voters' guide. There's also this one, this orange one, and it tends to show you if we don't pass the bond warrants, the difference between spending in the next two or three years, which you know, we'll be up by $200,000 to $300,000, something like that. Whereas with the current projections that we're making now, with the bond warrants, with our 10-year growth plan, with our capital improvement plan, we are looking at virtually level-funded expenses for the next three years. And at that point afterwards, we have enough building blocks in these planning models to make some changes so that we can continue to keep level funding, which is really the level tax rate, which is really the purpose of the goal and motivation of all of us here on the board. With regard to the fire engine, I would say this has been uh, supported by the select board, supported by the uh, uh, budget committee. We have a 29-year-old fire engine. Uh, Chief Rutherford will be happy to speak a little bit about the fire engine itself, if the moderator so allows. And but the piece of news that I would like to tell you is that the four hundred and fifty thousand dollar outlay that you see in the Warren article, we are hoping will be reduced by hundred and ten thousand dollars. We have been approved by the Department of Environmental Services for a grant just under a hundred and ten thousand. It has passed DPS, it has passed EPA, it is going to the Governor and Council for its final hurdle, which we hope is not a steep one either at the end of this month or sometime in April. So, we still, because it's not completely known, we have to ask for full 450000 But, when the grant, so when it is received, we will allow us to borrow uh, just about 110000 or less than what we see here. And with that, if the moderator would like to be asked for the chief to say anything more. That's fine, yes. Uh, hey, Chief, are you a, a, a citizen in the town? Uh, yeah. You are, so you, um, I recognize you as the first person to speak, but uh, yeah, you have every, every right to address the body. Uh, and please approach and use the microphone. Thank you. Good Any questions that need to be arisen about the fire engine, I'm glad to ask. But uh, I'll answer where everybody needs to know. We've been on this road for a while. A lot of the issues are dealing with the fire truck. Uh, I know some of those mechanical issues at first. But the whole forefront about the fire truck is okay. you know, 29 to 30 years old. The truck is still serviceable. Is it going to be what we need to meet our everyday commitment? No, it's not. There's a lot of issues other than the transmission is what brought it to the forefront. We've kind of addressed that issue to keep the 
until you run it, but this is the time now to replace the bike. We can't keep putting good money into piece of equipment, which is long past its use. Uh, there's been some long range planning on what the select board has done to accept the job to try to spread this out over the long time, over the long term. I know coming in, at least in my view, asking for these kind of sums of money is a huge commitment for the town, but understand this is the cost of doing business. For everybody's protection and safety, we need to have equipment that can be dependable 100% of the time. This fire truck has gone to that point where I cannot honestly stand up here and tell you that 100% of the time it's going to deliver what we need it to do. So to this point here, that's why we're asking for this warrant out for the place of fire truck. We've done an awful lot of work uh, talking to different manufacturers. And, and one issue with the fire truck, and it's also dealing with the, uh, the grant money, is the time frame. Fire trucks, you just don't go pick them off the shelf at Walmart. Uh, they, they take approximately 270 or better days because they are built to the specifications on which the individual fire department needs are. Uh, we've sat down with the committee within the fire department. We spent months dealing with this to this point so that we can have a good product. And we finally get the okay, which is what we're here today to hope to achieve. And then we'll move forward with that uh, once we uh, have our decision by the group. Today. Open to field any questions that anybody may want to throw at me at this point. So, Chief, what I'll ask you to do is if you sit in the front row and if you do get a question, I'll call you back up. Very good. Thank you very much. We're open for debate and discussion on Article 5. Cellular Pool 4.0. Yes. Washington Street. I'd like to commend the select board for um, going through all the effort to find money besides tax dollars to fund this. I think now is the time we've come up with um, money to help offset it. We have some money, I understand, that might come from the CIP. Is that true? No, it's not a public consent bill. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll say that again. I think doing it this way, going through the grant program we found through the EPA with a low interest rate will save the town money in the long run and allow us to space out our payments just like any of us would do when we buy our own car. And on that line of thought, I wonder how many of us are driving cars that are 30 years old that are in need of repair that we are not using um, to their full advantage. I also worry about the environmental impact. Well, when they started out with the fire department and when we're running it on the road, how much more emissions are we putting out there with this 30-year-old fire truck compared to what we're putting out now? Um, and I know it was repaired a few years ago and we were guaranteed it would last that long. I'm wondering from the chief if it lasted that long and if we should look into repairing it again because I know there's been talk about another repair might make it last a few more years. But I also understand the cost goes up every time we wait. So I really wish that people would consider voting for this um, just because it makes sense in the long term. It's not just protecting us, if we have a fire in our property, because it allows the fire department to get there, but it also protects the firefighters when they're in that building, burn, building burning building, and it ensures their hose doesn't go out. It ensures their safety. So not only think about you and your property, but think about them when you vote on this. Thank you. Is there other debate on Article 5? I'm ready to call the question. Uh, this will be by paper ballot. A two-thirds majority vote is required. Um, a yes vote it is you're in favor of purchasing the fire truck and uh, incurring the debt on the bond. A no vote means you don't want to uh, purchase the fire truck and don't want to incur the debt on the bond. Again, we're going to recess. I'll ask you again to line up uh, at the soup. Tellers first, yes, please. Uh, tellers, if you would please uh, report to the supervisors and line up. Um, uh, and uh, I appreciate your patience um, uh, with this process, uh, but we want to make sure that we follow every legal requirement so that uh, the, the, the intention of this body is able to be implemented, uh, however the vote comes out. So please line up. I declare this uh, meeting in recess uh, at 9. 53 a.m. Uh, and I will uh, reconvene us after most of us have voted. Thank you.